Hello, what's up? My name is the Bell123 and welcome to another Minecraft time lapse. Today we're gonna continue the castle area and therefore I'm preparing a staircase so I can build a house later on on a higher plateau which should increase the elevation change for this area which is one of my main goals. Um, in addition, I wanna have small narrow streets so that's all for today so make sure to check it out completely. You can see some more block and house placement tips and also some more information about my current um, life because I moved to the USA for 10 months in order to participate in an exchange year program so that's quite interesting I guess some of you well the majority of you lives in the USA I can tell that by the YouTube analytics so if you're interested in meeting you that's a unique chance for you um, I'm available for you. I live near Atlanta, Georgia, and yeah, if you're interested in that, make sure to give me a message and if there are enough people, I can actually make it happen. So what I'm doing right now in the video is I'm preparing the plateau as I told you before. Now I'm terraforming a bit so we can have enough space to place our house. Therefore, um getting rid of a bunch of blocks. Um, you can see on the upper left corner right now uh, that there's a small path and what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to connect it with the other road I've prepared before. You can see that I'm trying to get here a small staircase. There we go. Um, looks kind of cool in the end. Um, I had here some troubles with the house but I think I managed to get it to a good looking uh, result. Once we've prepared the plateau, I'm actually gonna start with a wood frame and some of you might ask uh, why am I starting down there? Because I prepared a plateau for the house but I'm starting on the um, initial layer. That's due to the fact that I am trying to build my houses on multi -layer, multiple layers, um, that's what you can see right here. I'm building on the plateau but also not on the plateau which is, in my opinion, a pretty neat thing. Um, here. I kind of interfered with the um, staircase that goes from the castle down to the uh, main road so I had to find a way to how to do that therefore I decided just to build the frames first and then kind of let it merge with the stair and I think I did a really good job there now I'm getting up all the pillars um, here I'm trying to merge it already so the house can this of two main parts one part we're right in now, and the other part is on the left. There we go, so that's the first floor. You can see that I used their even numbers on the left side once again. Um, that looks pretty cool in the end. Um, here I'm altering the layers once again, because I recognize that the um, spaced walk lighter would be too less, would be too tight, and would look ugly in the end. So now you can see the two main parts even better, I guess. So those are my two main rooms. And for this build, I had to face a quite difficult task because they are now multi layered, and I haven't done that before, so that was quite new for me. Starting the second part of my house, um, here I'm adding some more sub roofs and some more um, storages to my house to kind of let it look um, not too small um, in comparison to the stair and also to let the um, area kind of look taller in the end. I 
was done with the first part of our house, now we just need to add the uh, roof to it. So you can see that this area gets quite um, narrow, uh, which can be a good thing, but I think it's not the best thing to have, so um, I'm gonna have to deal with it later. So, what I'm trying with now. I was thinking about adding another tower, but in the end I just added another level to my build, which was, in my opinion, a pretty good choice. There we go. So now we got the wanted effect. I covered up the castle, but you can still see through a small path what the castle looks like. So he was thinking about the reason why I had this there here, because it's kind of pointless. You're gonna see that later when I add some more details. I kind of um, close up the area here, you can see what I tried to do but didn't really work out. So I later closing it up with some uh, storage and chests. So you can see me adding some more details to my roof, adding the wood margins for the roof later, and also adding all the supportings needed for the light for the walls later on. So you may need to make sure that you cover every spot because in the end it's a pain in the ass to actually uh, fill in the spots that were left out, so make sure to hit everything. Also, I almost forgot that um, there will be a collaboration coming up due to the uh, due to my movement to the USA, I'm now able to actually work with people who live in the USA. I've, I'm in contact with two guys who live in California, and the time difference was about nine hours, so wasn't really able to talk to them or um, anything else. So now we're actually able to start a collaboration. I'm already planned one. I just need to wait for the guy to come out of his um, holidays. His name is the Big Bad Band. I already featured him in one of my videos. I think it was the statue. So if you want to check out that, the link is in the description down below. Also linking his channel. I know many of you are already familiar with his name. I sometimes look at the guys who subscribe to me, and I see his name quite often. So I think that would be in favor for a lot of people.
we filled in most of the roofings and now I'm adding or starting to add details to it. Um, therefore, I'm using once again the grey stained clay, filling in some other parts and then we're gonna start with that. So, about my roofs, I've received multiple questions on how to build roofs. Um, actually, people went on the server and wanted to see me building. Um, unfortunately, I'm quite busy at the moment, so that's a thing I can't really um, give you. But what I can tell you about roofs is that roofs need to merge together, like I did it here. You want to have multiple roofs and multiple main roofs. So having like roofs merging together in one and in the end it should be filled up with everything. So what you want to do while you build the frames is that you imagine how the roofs would be in the end and then just in the end just fill in the blocks and that should work out. That's a thing that you can practice. I wasn't able to do that when I started but kind of comes by the time. So if you keep practicing building it will be quite easy for you. There's also a video coming up for the Building Academy, and now it has been um, a long time to upload a new video. Uh, that's just mainly due to the um, things I had to do for my exchange here, so um, I was quite bu busy doing that. Um, here, one thing about the fill command: make sure to have an enclosed area, because otherwise you're gonna have such a mess. So. Um, you're gonna see where the um, arrow was open. Here, the windows were the problem, so I had to fix that and not sure work out fine. So, you can see me adding details, um, adding random blocks, removing some more blocks, so that's quite basic, I guess. And later, on, we're gonna add some more roofings um, on the top, like the wood parts to make it look even more detailed and interesting. By the way, um, I need your opinion on the um, snow part. Um, if you like the, my builds with snow or uh, with no snow, because I have to tell you my city is located in a snowy area so I kind of want to have some snow. I already asked you if you want to have a lot of snow, um, I already showed you some and the majority of to you told me not to do that, so I had to remove it. But there's a uh, little snow that I can see right now on the other buildings. I think that looks quite good and fits to the theme. So post in the comments if you like that or not. Most of the house, we're now nearly to complete the house, I'm just adding some more details and greenery, which is a very important part, although I mostly use greenery to cover up ugly spots, so if you see greenery on all my bullets, you can expect that I wasn't really happy about the part you're looking at. So um, in this case, I choose it to kind of get an eye-catching point and to make it look much more interesting than it was before. You can see the part where I'm going to use it. That part look quite ugly, so um, I wanna to add some more greenery to give it some more color and make it look much better, like so. 
And one nice uh, thing about Grunery is that you can actually randomize it as well. Um, I know um, EV Productions ta talked about that in one of their videos. Um, that you can add um, jungle wood leaves to um, kind of show that there are uh, fruits in the leaves, or just um, birch wood, which adds just another color to the oak wood leaves. So there's a major uh, a variety of things you can do with um, leaves by now. So that's quite nice. Here I'm randomizing this there, just to add a bit more, um, yeah, variation to it, and also adding some more cracked and mossy stone breaks to the um, plateau to give it the final touch. Here you can uh, see how you use the replace near command. Unfortunately, the chat is cut off for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but basically, it works that it replaces um, blocks in a certain um, area. That's a quite neat comment, and I'm really thankful for um, what they did to, that they added this. So you can see adding how I add the snow. Basically, just random placement. Um, just make sure that you um, have some different layers. You know that you can stack the snow layers um, up. Also, if you have um, regions that are covered by um, buildings like here, make sure not to add a snow or just very little. And now we're moving towards the end of the movie. Uh, yeah, towards the end of the video. Have been watching a lot of movies in the last months, so here we're just adding some more, um, yeah, blocks and um, details to the road to make it look interesting. Once again, I can um, suggest you a recent video from EB Productions was made by Elam Doharo in addition. Well, in collaboration with Balkan, they did a good job on showing how they added details and how you can change the look of areas just by adding some more atmosphere and details. So you can find that in the description as well. So what I'm doing here right now is adding a cart. Carts are very important for cities because they were used to transport goods uh, across the whole city. So that might go to the harbor. Um, you can see me using um, custom hats. Um, there is a site on the internet, I don't know where, uh, which provides links and commands uh, to get those hats. Because people keep bothering me about them, I can't really give them um, yeah, a proper answer, because I have like a big text file with all the comments. Um, so if you want to have that, make sure to post in the comments as well. So that was the whole video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did so, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet for other videos. And make sure to check out the Big Bad Bam, who's my collaboration partner. And yeah, hopefully I will see you in my next video, which will hopefully come soon. I'm also gonna be making a video for EB Productions about a crane. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that out as well. And see you next time. Bye bye.